This graph is showing record obtained when different temperatures were maintained around nerve muscle preparation and the nerve was stimulated and simple muscle twitch was recorded. Now can you tell that uh, what strength of a stimulus will be used for recording this effect of temperature on simple muscle twitch? It has to be supramaximal strength of a stimulus as I told in my video on recruitment of motor units so that we have to use supramaximal strength of a stimulus to record the effect of any intervention on simple muscle twitch. You can have a look at that video also. The link I have given in the description section below. So in this the center graph that is the black colored graph is recorded at a room temperature say suppose 25 degrees Celsius. The blue graph is recorded at a warm temperature say suppose 40 degrees Celsius and the brown graph is at cold temperature say 5 degrees Celsius. So what are your observations for this graph? So we have to compare the simple muscle twitches which are obtained at warm and cold temperature with respect to the graph obtained at room temperature. So you see the effect on a latent period, contraction period, relaxation period and also the strength of contraction, the height of contraction which is there. So it is very simple if we see in this graph, you see the latent period that is the time taken from the point of stimulation to the start of contraction. It has become less in warmer temperature and it is more in colder temperature. So if we write warm and uh, cold what we will see is latent period decreased in warm and it increased in cold. Then what about contraction period? Same contraction period also decreased. So from here start of contraction to the maximum height of contraction it is contraction period. So you see contraction period is more in colder temperature. So contraction period is uh, less in uh, warm temperature and cold it is increased. Similar is the thing with relaxation period in uh, warm temperature it is decreased and in cold temperature it is increased. What about the height of contraction? height of contraction actually has increased in warm you see this is the height of contraction and in cold it is decreased so it is simple observation what we are seeing here not very difficult right now comes the second part that why we are getting what we are getting what is the reason behind it well in warm temperature what happens that there is increased enzymatic reactions right so temperature actually affects the enzymatic reactions right so there is increase in enzymatic reaction and the metabolic activities when the temperature increases and because of this there is decrease in resistance in the muscle so movement will be faster plus the ion channels also open and there is increase in the ionic flow so that is why there is increase in speed of contraction with decrease in latent period. An opposite effect happens at colder temperatures. So enzymatic reactions are going to decrease, metabolic reactions are going to decrease, the rate of them is going to decrease. Now the same question which I asked for recruitment of motor units. What do you think that uh, does this graph violate all or none law or not? What does all or none law says? that either there will be a maximum response or no response at all. So does this graph violate all or none law because we are changing the temperature and we are seeing that there is increase in and decrease also in the strength of contraction. So that maximum which we are obtaining is not actually maximum it is changing. So why is it so? Well this graph does not violate all or none law because all or none law says that either there will be maximum response or no response at all given the baseline conditions this is very important the, given the baseline conditions are constant if the baseline conditions change then the strength of contraction will change so here by changing the temperature we are changing the baseline condition inside the cells that is there is increase in the enzymatic activity increase in the metabolic activity that's why we are getting different response so that's all about effect of temperature on simple muscle twitch thanks for watching the video hope you liked it if you liked it do press the like button share the video with others and don't forget to subscribe to the channel physiology open thank you